Statistics show that 50% of all Americans will be diagnosed with an STI or STD by the time they reach adulthood. So that shows you in some way how common STIs and STDs are. The most common STI or STD in America is chlamydia. And the second most common is HPV or human papillomavirus. Chlamydia is very common it is asymptomatic in most people, which means there are no symptoms. So the only way to know that you have it is to be tested. It is completely curable and treatable with antibiotics. The really important thing to know about chlamydia is if left untreated, it can cause infertility in both men and women. In women, it can lead to pelvic inflammatory disease, or PID. And in men, it can lead to an inflammation of the epididymis, the tubes through which the sperm will shoot out from the body. HPV is human papillomavirus, also known as genital warts, is also a very common sexually transmitted infection. And that is caused by a virus. It is treatable, but not necessarily curable. It's very transmissible from skin to skin contact. The best way to actually prevent it is to have a barrier between your skin and someone else's skin. Someone may transmit HPV even if they don't have symptoms, but the things to look for are warts or raised bumps on the shaft of the penis, on the outside of the vulva, around the rectum. Sometimes those look like warts, sometimes they're flat, sometimes they're actually not visible to the naked eye and you would need to have your provider check in a different way. Sometimes they um, squirt a little bit of vinegar into the vagina around the vulva or on the shaft of the penis or around the anus in order to be able to see the HPV and then they can sometimes take it off in some way or give you a cream or medication and sometimes HPV just goes away by itself. So again, the two most common sexually transmitted diseases or infections in America are chlamydia and HPV.